terrorist sleeper cells in several European countries have been raided, leaving two suspects dead and more than two dozen arrested. In Belgium, police acted quickly to stop a plot they've discovered. During uh, the investigation, um, we found that this group uh, was about to commit terrorist attacks in Belgium. Officials said jihadists intended to kill police on the streets or in their office. Hundreds of police officers moved in quickly, raiding a dozen locations. One of them turned violent. During the search warrant in Verviers, Certain suspects immediately opened fire with automatic weapons at the special forces of the police. Two of the suspected terrorists were killed, one was wounded and arrested. In the end, at least 15 people were being held, and searches led to the discovery of police uniforms, large amounts of cash, as well as military-style weapons. In Germany, police dressed in riot gear raided numerous locations they say are linked to Islamic extremists. Two more people were arrested there. Tensions are also heightened in Paris, as U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry pays respects to 17 people killed in terrorist attacks there just over a week ago. Paris police evacuated a major train station after a bomb threat as Kerry's motorcade moved through the city. He visited the memorial for those killed at Charlie Hebdo and laid a wreath at the kosher market where a gunman held hostages. More raids in Paris netted a dozen people that police believe have ties to the suspects in those two attacks.